Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Um, in the last episode we opened up this portal to Alfheim, or however you call it. Um, yeah, it closed because I ran out of mana in this pool and that pool's about to run out anyway. I'm not going to use this, like, at all, basically, because I don't really need Botania for anything, I don't think. Um, there's probably a few things that would be useful though, but I don't really need them right now, so I'm just going to leave this be for now. I'm just filling up these pools again. I'll, I want to have them full and maybe make some more terra steel for something, I don't know, but one of these takes up approximately one and a half um, droppers full of coal, so I'll just keep that in mind for future for the future when I need to make more and uh, I've been very hard at work here um, I got five molecular assemblers with four interfaces now so this is like a power machine basically uh, I've got a bunch of random junk in there right now um, to make solar panels um, I'm gonna take out the solar panel recipes later but I'll keep the other stuff in there because it's still useful um, and I've got three auto hammers linked up to one interface. I'm gonna move these all up by two so that the bottom one is at this level so I can still have machines here um, whilst I have everything else connected because you need to have an import bus in each one of these so it, they, it needs to have a separate connection and it's basically a pain just to do. And yeah, um, I tried using my machine over there, but whilst it was still here, and it decided to chop down all of this wood here. So I don't know if this is exactly how it was, I'll just, I haven't checked the video yet. I was going to check the video, see what it was like, but something tells me it's off one block. I think it's supposed to be one more block that way somehow, I don't know how though. But yeah, just just to keep you informed that's what happened um, I also got a weather controller from Draconic, Draconic Evolution here so that I can basically turn off rain whenever I feel like it um, but yes for the main part I have three co-processing units now um, this one has 32 um, 32k of crafting storage in total now the, and these two have 8k in total so this right now is making me some solar panels and it's taking forever because these are unfortunately extremely slow and I tried efficiency on them didn't didn't work still the same that's efficiency 5 on both of them by the way um, and got another heart canister which I'm happy about I guess this is more of a show and tell isn't it I upgraded this, it's one block higher now, and two blocks this way, and I got the achievement the achievement in my book for t for 10 curves um, a tick, and this produces like 12 curves, I think, but the cooling needs to be redone, I think I'm going to fill it up with resident, re resonant ender now, because diamond blocks do not cut it, it uh, kind of dies. Um, I'm not gonna mess around with the control rods now, but they all set to 65%, which is just fine. It slowly goes up here when stuff isn't running. Uh, it goes up with about one curve, which is plenty. And I also got this turned back on because I'm producing enough power now. Um, this is just giving me things, things like Ardite and Cobalt. I don't remember which one's stronger, Ardite or Cobalt, but they're both really strong and I'm gonna make tools out of them eventually. Um, after Enderium, but yeah, it's got plenty of good stuff in here. Um, I basically automated sand and uh, what you want to call it, gravel production here because it's a pain doing it by hand, um, which also makes it easier for me to make surface quartz because then I can just sieve it, sieve the sand that I got. Um, I automated. Well, let's take a look. I automated the production of 
energy I was to but I have a lot of trouble working with fluids. Like it's a real pain working with fluids. Um, like it it goes into the storage cell, the fluid storage cell, all right. This one here. These are all four four K by the way here. Um, like it goes into here, all right. And it, well, right now it's destabilized redstone because I needed it for something, but then I can't get it back in back into the fluid transposer in any way that I can try. I I don't know if it's if I need an a fluid interface or a fluid export bus or something like that, but I just don't know how to, how to do it. Um, there's a bunch of fluid stuff there though, so I'm. How's this going? Oh, good. It's making glass now. I will be right back because I need to let the cat out of my room. Back once again. Um, I haven't done a whole much more. Um, I automated some stuff for the for the alloy smelter. Got a few small things here. Um, I was having some trouble with with the vibrant alloy making. I don't know what's up with it, but basically I had some trouble and I'm not going to try it again. Um, also now I can craft up to three completely different things at a time, so that is just perfect for me. I'm going to try that alloy once more over on keyboard. I should probably delete it one day. So let's try nine. I know it, I know why I was having trouble, it should work now. Because before I was I didn't know how to do the export properly. Like I didn't I didn't know that you could just add an ex an export bus with this turned on. I had an interface by it trying to get it in and so that's why it didn't work. I'm gonna try more than sixteen because that's how many enderpearls can go in there at a time, so alloy let's try sixteen let's try eighteen. Because that's a nice even number. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so uh, I don't have any trouble with that anymore. But yes, I also made this. It's now fully automatic. It only took me absolutely ages to figure out how to make it. I also got the sludge boiler here. It puts things in this chest, and they get carried away to my ME system. I use nitrogen conduit, so I don't waste the ME uh, cables and. Yes, energy to here. I'm using item ducts for this. I don't know, like, I always wanted to use the item ducts from the first thing, from like the first ever mod modded video I've seen, like, um, these kind of mod videos. Like, the first ever mod videos I've seen were eight, eight, the eighth mod, and it remains my favorite mod because I, it's the first one I've seen. Um, I should get away from here. Never mind, it's too late. <laughs> I hate the sludge boiler so much, but anyway, we should actually do something in this video. I was thinking um, something closer to uh, what should I call it? Doing these achievements here. So I have my calculator here. So I need an octuple cobblestone. So how much cobblestone will I actually need to make that? Is the question. So you need nine. 9 times 9 Wait, it's just 9 to the power of 8, isn't it? So Let's see if that is how many So I need this much I'm a bit slow on on the number pad So I need this much and I have how much? Um, is that enough? How many digits are in this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On my calculator, and how many digits here? No, I, I, I don't have enough yet, but that that thing has been sped up a lot with all those world, up, world upgrades, so I should have no trouble. I'll be able to do that next episode, maybe. Um, guess I'm an idiot at counting. Well done. Um, this still... You know what, I'm going to wait to fill up the DSU first. 
Um, there's a lot of stuff for me to do though. I need to create a max size reactor, but I don't know, I don't know the full thing, and I can't be bothered to look it up. Let's look at the um, chronic, chronic evolution again. Um, so I made an information tablet, which I read a bit, and I found out a lot about stuff here. Um, what was it that w that interested me the most here? Oh yeah, yeah, it was the weather maker or changer. But I need to make some stuff here. Interesting, I'm just reading through this. Okay, that's actually quite useful. Um, but I need the Draconic Helm first, because it's the first one up. Was it? Yep. That may take a while. <laughs> Help. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm feeling like right now because this is so difficult to do. Oh, damn. I'm not still awakened core. But first, I need to do the white wyvern helm. What do I have out of it? Oh, I'm pretty damn close. So I got these draconicals, but oh, I need to fight a wither again. Okay. So I just need to fight the wither, don't I? Um, wither. Wait, yeah, wither. Uh, no problem. So, okay, with the proof blocks, would be very useful. I can do that. No, I can't. How do I make dark steel? I need steel. I know how I make steel. Do I have steel? I do. Uh, now, how do I make dark steel again? Obsidian. Okay. Let's just do that real quick. Alright, I did my best at making a cage here, so let's try actually do something. Uh, last time it didn't work, the weather escaped, and of course I don't have enough soul sand, but last time the weather escaped, um, I, and it was because the cage was too small and when it spawned in it uh, kind of went through it so hopefully that doesn't happen again but if it does then I'll have a bit of a problem because if the wither flies towards here then A that will destroy everything but he shouldn't fly there because I'm there but also it will be harder to get the star because I might kill the wither, which I will, um, and the star might fall to the void. So the idea is to basically have a big floor, but it would also be nice to, for for everything to load in here, right? Okay, so I don't think the wither can get out anywhere. I tried pushing uh, this stuff in good places so that it can't escape, but something tells me the blast is going to knock everything out. So. Here we go. Just kind of like sniping. I'm a sniper, right? Whoa. Uh, that's some serious damage. Hey, okay, come here, come here. Yeah. That is completely better. Hit. Oh, no, 
right. Thank you, thank you. I think I did it. Uh, no, did the star fall? Oh, I'm nearly dead. I think the star fell. No! Why does it have to happen to me? Like, every time. I don't even know what this is. It's a shader. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fight him again until I get the star. I got it the second time round, so... Wyvern Core. And let's try and make this Wyvern Helm. Cool. Um, this needs charging though, so let's just charge it. That's pretty fast charging. I like it. I, I can't fly anymore though. Um, so, what exactly does it do? <laughs> so, nothing. I'd rather have that. Alright, so now I just need more draconium. Um, which I have right here. So let me make some stuff. I need a hammer. Uh, diamond hammer. Okay, so she gets quite a bit of stuff from this. As you just saw, I got two more basically from just that, but I'm not even finished. I got some more to do to turn this into dust. As you can see, I gained one extra, or yeah, one extra. No, two extra. So in total I gained four, four more than I started with, which is just awesome. I don't know what I'm talking about because I am just bored. Wait, why was that only 15? I had 19 on me. What happened? What happened? Help! Anyway, what, what other things do you need there? Um, let's see, what do we need, draconic chest piece, uh, I don't have anything for that, what does the energy core cost? more than I have, apparently. So, I need two of those, don't I? No, I need five. So I need three more. And just as I ran out, I would have had enough though, wouldn't I? But yes, I need... Yeah, what happened? Yeah, well, I just made some stuff. Oh, right, I didn't actually make it. I just... Okay. So I need a lot of Draconium, but for that I need End, end Stone. Um... Do I remember how to make it? That's how you make it. And I'll just put that into my auto hammers. 
Um, even though these, I should probably reset up the machine that I used before, that which automatically did all of this, shouldn't I? Maybe I don't know. But yes, sorry if this episode was a bit monotone and boring, but. Uh, it's late at night and I still need to record something else, bef but before that I need to render this, so if this episode is short, I'm sorry, I don't even know how long I've been recording so for like episode. so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!